In this video, we're going to look at differential equations. A differential equation is an equation, so it's got an equal sign, with a derivative in it, with a dy dx or a dy dt or a dx dt or dx dy. So some kind of derivative within the equation. So here we've got dy dx equals xy. So we've got a dy dx in an equation. So it's a differential equation. We're being asked to get it in the form y equals f of x. So we want to get rid of the dy dx. To do that, what we do is we split up the x's and the y's. So we separate out x's on one side and y's on the other side. So here we've got dy dx. So if we imagine that we times both sides by dx, we can take the dx to the other side and have dy on one side and dx on the other side. Then we need to get all the y's with the dy and all the x's with the dx. So if we divide both sides by y, we'll get 1 over y dy equals x dx. So we've split all the y's onto the left side, all the x's onto the right side, and now we can integrate both sides. So integrating 1 over y with respect to y is ln y. And the integral of x with respect to x is x squared over 2, or half x squared. We need to plus c, but we only need to plus it to one side, because if there's a constant on both sides, we can take one of them over to the other side, so there's only one c. And we need to get it in the form y equals f of x. So to get rid of ln y, to get rid of an ln, to get y by itself, we e both sides. So y equals e half x squared plus c. That is an answer. We can simplify that a little by changing it to e half x squared times e c. So when you multiply powers, when you multiply two indices, you add the powers. And we can change e c to a different constant. So we'll call that a. So we'll have a times e half x squared. Okay, here's another question. So again, find the general solution for this differential equation in the form y equals f of x. So again, we're going to split up dx and dy, and we're going to get all the y's on the left side and all the x's on the right side. So again, we divide by y and have 1 over y dy equals sine x dx. And we're going to integrate both sides, which will give us ln y equals integrating sine gives us negative cos. So negative cos x and plus c. So again, we're going to e both sides to get rid of the ln. So that would just give us y equals e to the power of minus cos x plus c. And again, we will change it to e to the power of c times e to the power of minus cos x. e to the power of c is just a number, and we're going to call it a. So a e minus cos x is our answer. Okay, here we're going to look at a differential equation in context. So we're told the rate of change of v, volume millimeter, milliliters, is given by the formula minus 20 dv dt equals 2v minus 300. And we're told that at v0, so v0, the volume at time equals 0, so in t equals 0, v is 200. So we're going to be able to use that information 
to find C this time. So what we're going to do, we're going to split it up. So get all the V's on one side and the T's on the other. So I have minus 20 DV equals 2V minus 300 DT. So we're going to take the DT's to the right side and the DV's or the V's or the V's to the left side. There are no T's, so we're going to divide by 2V minus 300 over 2V minus 300. And we're just going to have 1 on the T side. So we're going to integrate minus 20 over 2V minus 300 with respect to V. So we will we have minus 20 ln 2V minus 300 and divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 2. And that's going to equal 1 integrated with respect to T is T and we'll plus C. So simplifying, we've got minus 10 ln 2v minus 300 equals t plus c. When t is 0, v is 200. So we'll substitute those in and we'll find c. So v is 200. So 2v's minus 300 is 100. Ooh, ln 100 minus 10 ln 100 equals c so we've got minus 10 ln 2v minus 300 equals t minus 10 ln 100 and we want to find v after five seconds so when t is five what is v so minus 10 ln 2v minus 300 equals 5 minus 10 ln 100. So we need to get v by itself. So we'll divide by negative 10. Divide every term by negative 10. Which gives us negative half plus ln 100. Then we're going to e both sides to get rid of ln. We're going to e. So 2v minus 300 equals e to the power of minus a half plus ln 100. We could simplify this, but let's just get v by itself first. So plus 300 and divide by 2. So e to the power of minus a half plus ln 100 plus 300 all over 2. So we're going to give our answer as a number. So we don't have to worry about simplifying the E term. So let's put it in the calculator. And we should get 180 millilitres to three significant figures. OK, here's another question. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. Okay, so we've got the rate of change of a population this time. And we've got dp dt equals 2p. So we're going to split up the p's and t's. So we'll have dp, or 1 over 2p, dp equals we'll just 1 d. T. We're going to integrate both sides. So 1 over 2p is going to become ln 2p divided by the bracket differentiated. So half ln 2p equals t plus c. Um, when t is 0, p is 1000. So we've got half ln 2000 equals c because t is 0. So that means I've got half ln 2p equals t plus half ln 2000.
what do we want? Find an expression for p in terms of t. So we need to get p by itself. So let's times everything by 2. 2t plus ln 2000. And we want to get rid of ln, so we're going to e both sides. So e 2t plus ln 2000. We will simplify this time, so let's have 2p equals e to the power of 2t times e to the power of ln 2000. e ln cancels. So that's just 1,000, I mean 2,000, so 2,000 e to the power of 2t, and divide both sides by 2, which would give us 1,000 e to the power of 2t.